Hi, this is Dawn and Martin at Stickle Tarn and we are getting ready to start servicing the Rayburn. Uh, the Rayburn was installed eight years ago next month and it hasn't had a big overhaul since then. Um, so this is what Martin is going to do. And we're going to do a series of videos. I don't think that's involved because he's changing the fire rope, flushing through the radiator systems, changing the fire bricks. So at the moment, he is draining off some of the water. And it's hot water. And that little tap all the way down there. And that little hot tap leads straight into the boiler at the back of the Rayburn and we have to I believe drain off a certain amount of water and then we, we can put the stuff in the header tank which will be left to flush through so as we do each step I will do a video our Rayburn by the way is what we burn wood that's predominantly what we burn is wood and the Rayburn is used for heating our hot water, running the radiators upstairs and for cooking on. So I've got something in the oven at the moment but I've got a good fire going. Um, yeah so it's an important part for our house but it's got no mechanical working parts i will do a video showing how we use the rayburn how we set it how we control the heat on it so so we're just starting so bear with us um and as i said we haven't done this before so it's all totally new ground for us and we've really found it difficult to find information out there about how to do it that's why we thought we'd do these videos Martin's now heading up into the loft. Right, into the loft we go. Oh. And hopefully see what Martin is doing. There's an awful lot of fucking poo here. You can see the rafters over here where it's rotten as a pear. Look at it, it's falling apart now. Right, explain what you're doing, Martin. Uh, I just want to tie this bullcock up to stop water going in there because I want to join this down before I stick, stick the stuff in. I can't see the pipe coming in of it. Ah, oh, there it is, yeah, I see it. See that timber look? All rotten there look. We have a rotten rafter. Right, so that's tied on there, so now we can go and drain it down at the boiler, drain all of that out, then we'll put the uh, How cleaning. How are you going to know when that's all out? Because I have to keep coming back up. I'm looking at the amount that's there. Right, you want to back up a bit? Right. 
think it will anyway, so. Right, while Martin's draining that off, I'll just show you what it is he's going to be putting into the header type. Um, and then this will hopefully remove any sludge that's sitting in the radiators. Is that right? Yeah. Once he's done this bit, he puts his liquid in and then the radiators have all got to be turned on full. Now you release the ball cock, yeah? Yeah. Release the ball cock, all the radiators have got to be turned on full to flush through the system. We will leave it awake. And then the next stage will happen in a week's time. Still got about half. And there's the pipe there. <clears throat> See it in the oh, bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to tip this in. And then we'll do about the same again what we've taken out. Make sure they're in the system then. You should try to angle that one down. Right, we we'll go back down again. <clears throat> Bringing more through to get the solution into the system. Right, the ball cock has been released. The header tank is now refilled. So all the radiators are being turned on full. If you can get to them. We'll leave this a week and then we'll do the radio and that'll be off at the same time. And then we'll change the radiators and drain the system. Right, so we'll be back in a week's time with part two.